What's going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. Today we have three items going out that we sold on eBay yesterday. So those are already packed up and ready to go. I do want to mention a couple things about those. Also, my family is going to be in town today. I'm going to take them to a couple of Goodwills and see if we can find some cool stuff. Maybe buy another mystery palette because I still have two mystery palettes left that I got at Goodwill. So today after my family leaves, we're going to go ahead and dig into the next palette and see what we can find. Stick around. So my mail lady is like right around the corner. I don't have a ton of time to talk about these packages that I sold yesterday, but uh, one of them was a Nintendo 2DS that I got in my video game bundle. I uh, did not have the cord to it, but it did turn on and appeared to be functioning. So that sold, I think for $45 free shipping. I'll throw it up on the screen, but I'm pretty sure that's what it sold for. Pretty good sale out of the video game lot there. Also sold a uh, loose copy of Super Smash Bros for Nintendo Wii U, I think. I'll throw that up on the screen as well. I think I got $17 free shipping for that. Uh, I picked that up in a Facebook Marketplace pickup about a week and a half or so ago. And then uh, the blocks that were in yesterday's video, the wooden blocks that I pulled out of that mystery palette, I listed those yesterday on eBay. It was 41 blocks altogether. I uh, listed it for $25 free shipping and it sold within about three hours. I didn't get a message with that, so I don't know if it was from a viewer, but I just felt like it was suspicious selling that quickly because it's just wooden blocks, you know? So uh, it sold to Claire from Lauder Hill, Florida. So Claire, if you are a viewer of the channel, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Also, I'll show you guys this box that I put the uh, blocks in. This is like a seven by seven by seven cube box. The blocks fit in here perfectly, like length and width. Uh, it was 41, which sucks because it was like just one randomly in the middle. But this box uh, qualified for cubic rate shipping on pirate ship. So shipping this box from, and it weighs like four pounds, six ounces. So seven by seven by seven, four pounds, six ounces going from South Carolina to Florida. And it cost me $8 and seven cents with pirate ship. So not too bad. 25 bucks free shipping after fees, after $8 and seven cents shipping, pretty good profit on some wooden blocks. So I'll give you guys another little update. This is that Wii that was covered in all the Coke or coffee stains or something last week with the Wii Sports inside. Uh, I just hooked it up with the cords for our Wii that we use all the time. So I'm going to turn it on and see if it will actually work. Okay, so it does turn on. Hey, boss. Okay. Cool. So uh, Wii Sports is back in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but Wii Sports is back in there. Let's see if it'll read the disc. Okay. Uh, all right. It looks like it's working. Pretty cool. So like I said, I had some extra cords in the garage. I have an extra sensor bar and a power cord. I think the only thing I might need is the AV cable, but um, I can lot all that together with the Wii Sports and probably two of these controllers. I've got like six of them out in the garage. I'll probably get like 100 to 120 bucks, maybe free shipping or so. Um, looks like it's still working. So definitely a pretty good fun. I don't know. I have a GameCube controller. Maybe I can test all these ports up here to make sure those work. Um, but as far as the regular wireless controllers, we are good to go. So yesterday after I organized through that pallet, I had the whole pile of donation stuff. So I took that to Salvation Army and then went inside to Thrift to see what they had. And I actually picked up a few good things here. Uh, I got three pairs of shoes, this nice pair of Hoka's, like super clean, a little bit of like discoloration right there, but overall very, very minimum wear. These were $6.99, probably an easy 50 bucks right there. Got these New Balance Fuel Core, uh, not worth a ton of money, but in pretty good condition. Uh, a little dirty on the soles. These were $5.99. Those are probably worth about $25, maybe $30 plus shipping. And then I got this pair of Pearl Azumi. Um, I think these are like mountain biking cycling shoes. They're, they have the clips on the bottom. Um, kind of a weird colorway in my opinion, but these were only $5.99. So I think those will sell for about $35 to $40 plus shipping as well. Then I got... Uh, in the glass case, they had a bunch of this Mary Kay stuff and this perfume, and I just got all of it without scanning anything because there was a line behind me and I didn't want to hold people up. Uh, these two Mary Kay uh, body wash, there's body wash and a moisture lotion. These are not worth much. I paid $1.99. Um, these three were $1.99. That was $2.99. These two are worth like 10 bucks plus shipping. I'll probably just lot those together. Um, actually, these are all the same fragrance, just... This is a fragrance mist, this is a body wash, and this is a moisture lotion. So I'll probably lot all three of these together for like 
maybe 30 bucks free shipping or something like that and, and try to make a little bit of profit. This was pretty good. Amazing Grace um, spray fragrance. It's like a perfume. It's $2.99. Sold comps on this are about $25. So pretty good there. I got two of these window door sensor things new in the package for $2.99 each. Uh, I think these sell for like 12 bucks or so each. So I'll lot the two of these together for maybe $24.99 plus shipping. See what happens. I got a Radica lighted solitaire for $1.99. It doesn't turn on. I think it needs new batteries, but physically it looks to be in good condition. Uh, these sell, if this was new in the package, it'd sell for like 50 bucks. But used condition, it'll probably go for about 25 or so plus shipping. And then I got this Kenwood remote RC5040 for a Kenwood receiver. You can see it's super gross, uh, but this will sell for about 25 bucks. All right, so I'm here at the Goodwill with my family. They're in town. We're going to go in here and see what we can find. Hopefully, they have some more pallets. This is the one where I bought three pallets last week. Uh, so I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up, but they are very, they're up. Y'all aren't doing any more of the pallets this week? Uh, no, she didn't do any yet. <laughs> yet? So there's hope? Yeah, there's hope. Okay, that's all I need. I just need a little bit of hope. I just walked into Goodwill and I ran into my buddy CJ. He recognized me from YouTube, so shout out CJ. Thanks so, thanks so much, man, for saying hey. If you guys ever see me in public, feel please feel free to say hey. Uh, and then I found this pair of Nike boots. These are in pretty good condition. Nike Manoa. Pretty good, pretty good condition. These would probably be $8.50. You can see the shoe prices right there. Uh, so pretty good pickup. I think these are probably worth maybe $35, $40 bucks or so. There's another pair of shoes up here. Pair of Merrells. These are in pretty good condition. Minimal wear. Nice, you know, neutral colorway. These are men's size 11, $6.50. I'll go ahead and grab this. We got a pair of Brooks men's running shoes right here. No heel wear or anything like that. Treads are in good condition. Ghost 11. Those are pretty good. Grab those. There's some of these Jordans. Air Tempo. These are looking pretty promising. I don't know if they're real. Hmm. Let me do some research on these. Okay, so these are in pretty good condition, and I looked at the model number, 050810LN2, and I can't really find anything on these, but for 650, I think I'll take a chance. You know, if they're fake, whatever, if they're real, they might be worth 40 bucks, 50 bucks or so. I don't know, I can't find any information on them. If you guys know anything about these shoes, let me know. So a pair of Nike, uh, Nike Free TriFit 4. Pretty cool pattern, colorway, good condition. No serious wear on the treads or heels. 650. Pick them up. Another pair of Nikes right here. These are the in season five. Pretty good condition on the top. The bottoms have like some stuff on them, but overall in really good condition. 650. I'll grab them. So I got all these, all those shoes. I think it's like six pair or something like that. And I paid 39. I think it's 30, 39 bucks for everything. And uh, a couple of those pairs should sell for like 30 to $50 by themselves. So definitely a good pickup there. On to the next Goodwill. All right, next Goodwill. Also, I have my IKEA bag this time because I forgot it last time. Not a lot of people in the parking lot. So let's see if there's some deals or pallets. No pallets. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Goodwill. Hello, how are you? Y'all got any more pallets in the back? The mystery pallets this week? Um, no, not yet. Not yet? So there's hope? Yeah. Not yet. They kind of send, send it off to Clarence Center this week. So okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's, this is the same. We like trying to. Probably the same like, Yeah. Busy here. Like, well, they. Um, I'm not, I'll probably grab some. They're probably, yeah, as they keep, you know, getting yeah. in. If it gets too overwhelmed, they'll start wrapping it up. Okay, sounds good. I'll be on the lookout. I got a pair of Vasque boots right here. Vasque are pretty good. Good condition. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab those. These will be $8.50. Two pairs of hokas. These are a little trashed and there's no insoles. There's no insoles in those either and those are there. That is disappointing for sure. And those are missing insoles too. <sighs> Who's that? A 
bread machine. You make bread in it? $6.94. It's dirty, but it's worth it. AB, ABM 550. And then we have this one. Bread box, $6.94. It's also got the paddle and everything in there. Model 1194. I'll get both of those. All right, so that one we got this pair of Vask uh, hiking boots. Really good condition. I don't know if they're men's or women's, but they'll probably sell for maybe 40 bucks or so. And then I also picked up these two bread machines for $6.94 each. I don't know if they work, but they both have the bread pan and the, the bread dough arm thingy inside. And for the well-built machine, this one, just the bread arm sells for like 25 bucks. So I might take the pans and arms out and try to sell just the bread makers by themselves at the yard sale this weekend. Um, just you know say they're missing the bread arm somebody might buy both of them for 10 bucks or something so basically get my money back at the yard sale just the machines and then sell the pans and arms uh for like 40 to 60 bucks in profit pretty good flip so i'm back home now my family left to go back home it was just nice spending the day with them a little bit you know going to a couple thrift stores we went to lowe's and i got this cool fan that like mounts to the wall uh so now i can <laughs> be somewhat cool as i list i was gonna get a window unit to put over in that window but the cheapest window unit Lowe's have was like $280 or something. And it wasn't even rated for cooling something as large as the garage. A couple of you guys have asked me if I uh, climate control my garage and I don't. I don't really have anything in here that would melt. Like I don't sell candles or anything like that. Um, I think it probably gets up to like 85 degrees in here. Um, anything more than that, I guess it could be a problem, but uh, I don't climate control my garage. So. Now I'm gonna get my, I keep calling him my friend Anderson, but it's just a kid in the neighborhood. He's uh, just looking for some summer work. So I just hired him as a independent contractor to help me get through some of this stuff right now. So he's on his way over here. We're gonna go through this uh, next palette from the Goodwill mystery box stuff and see what we can find. So I'm excited. So this is the palette we're going through today. Uh, nothing, nothing really crazy on the top, but we'll open up and see what we got going on. This is gonna be the donate bag, this is going to be the yard sale box, and that box is going to be stuff we're going to keep. Anything big that won't fit in the bag for donate, I'll put in the back of the truck. And we'll go for it. My friend Anderson is here helping me again today unload all this stuff. So let's get to it. Alright, repairing shampoo. I'm going to throw that... I guess we need a garbage pile. I'll just put the garbage over there. Um, it's flat. Where'd all the beans go? That's gonna be garbage. This is cool, but I guess I'll do yard sale for that. Oh, that's nice. It's a modern VCR. Yeah, VCR. It's a Sony Sony SLV N71. We'll look that up. Definitely gonna keep it, but I don't know exactly what it's worth. So that's good. Some spoons, brand new TJ Maxx. We'll keep that. That's garbage. Is that yarn or something? Yeah. You can do that in the donate. I'm trying to donate as much stuff as we can. In the last video, people said I threw too much stuff away. So I'm trying to be a better person. Oh, this is a Dooney and Burke. That logo looks weird. Does this have everything? It does have everything. Bingo cage? Yeah. That's cool. I don't think this is real because it says made in China and there's no tag on the inside. So I'm gonna say that's fake and it looks like the thing was glued on. So I'm gonna say fake and donate. Bingo cage set, yeah, we'll keep that. Nicholas Sparks, the lucky one. I'm gonna donate that. Another one? Uh, put it in that box. And then donate this garbage. The kitchen is the hardest. Um, thrift store. Mm. 
Uh, the toys, put them in that box. I don't know if I'm going to donate them or do them at the yard sale. Some of that yarn. Digital toys. That looks like it's still sealed in the package. Yeah, it's open. Maybe it's not. I'll put that in the keep box. Keep. Broken. And rust. I'll throw this Christmas ornament away so there's nothing breakable. We'll keep that whole box, do the, just put the whole box in the fat pile. 31. Donate. Pork cord? Pork cord. Um, Two of them? I'll probably yard sale those. People like those. Put them those in that box over there. Kim Rogers. Just make sure there's no money in these things. Who's that? That's my friend's mom. Oh. Hello, friend's mom. Bluetooth. Donate. What was in there? Right there. Oh, yeah. That's fine. United States quarter dollar collection. That's, hmm, that's pretty cool. Um, put it in that box. We'll put these over here, too. I really need a third box, but I don't have a third box. I have some big ones at my house. Bring them on, man. I'll use them. Is that it? Actually? Uh, yeah. It's in there. Oof. Uh, it's pretty gross, probably. Uh, you can donate it. The sack. Donate. There's a light fixture in there. Check that out. This looks pretty cool. Keeping the binder. Louis Vuitton. What are the chances this I'm is gonna real? I'm going to have to take a fake on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how flimsy it is. Yeah, it's super thin. Yeah, that does not feel real at all. And some of the stitching is crooked right there. It's definitely fake. Yeah. Wish it was real. Sony iPod dock. Uh, I'm gonna yard sale this one. Oh, it is a leprechaun costume. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Been needing one of those. Oh, it looks like there's a Santa costume in there, too. And people just Oof. donate all sorts hey, of reach. stuff. Oh. If it smells bad, I just throw it away. I just put it in the back of the truck. Yeah. You're my person. Oh. I guess we'll donate that. A um, it looks like something you'd put like pictures or stuff in. Do the yard sale. What is an interesting lamp cover. That is interesting. Is a good word to describe that. Vera Bradley. Yard sale. Uh, yeah, that's right. Ooh, that's broken. Trash. That's trash. Socks. Pull. Hey. Oh. What is this? It's like a bunch of cards. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna go through that later. Looks interesting. Costa Rica. Something about Costa Rica in 2003. Um. And some random hats and stuff and hangers. That's gross. Ooh, um, is there anything in there? What's that book? Something about Costa Rica. And there's a baby book. Oh, uh, no, nah, just toss it in here. Ooh, it's getting hot. 
Christmas yarn. Donate. Rough condition. Yeah. I think there's a pair of slippers in there too. Um, let's open it up and see. Let's see what's in there. Some shoes might be worth money if they're. A pair of foam flip flops. Uh, and then a pair of boots. Uh, those are. Grandma church shoes. What brand are these? Bonaldino. Bonaldino. Um, is there the other pair to them? Oh, uh, there is. All right, this All one's this one's guard. The boots are garbage, but the other two are good enough to donate. Put them in there. That is trash. Wish I had a tent or something to put up. Tom Tom GPS cord. Oh, keep that. Oops. Mm, not really. Okay. Stain. Yeah. I'll go throw away on that. Christmas decor. I'll yard sell that. No, I don't need to yard sell that. Cups. Donate it. Fidget spinners. Fidget spinners? If only it was 2012. Yeah. Let's see. What is this? iPad. Artisan leather iPad 2.0 cover. That's pretty legit. How old is the iPad 2.0? Um, I think I have one of those in like fourth grade. <laughs> pretty old. Thing. It'll sell at a yard sale. Christmas? Um, I just donate it. Um, you can put it in this box. Piece of it out there. Oh. What brand is that? Speaker system. It's Unbranded. Do not have a brand. Um, just throw it over there. Kitchen stuff. Ooh, maxi pads. Maxi pads. They're sealed. You can <laughs> donate them. Somebody use them. Talking clock. It's got sticky stuff on it. Um, I'll sure. just donate that. I'll yard sale that. Somebody might like. It actually might look good in our living room. I mean, our kitchen. Our kitchen's got a super old one. So I sent Haley a picture of this chandelier for our kitchen, and she thinks it's way better than our current one, which is that. I've never realized how freaking hideous this chandelier is. So I'm actually gonna go ahead right now and switch these out, and hopefully it'll be ready for her by the time she gets home today. So there's the old light fixture taken out. Apparently it's from, I would guess from 1993 when the house was built or something like that. And there's the new one. Looks pretty good. Nothing's on fire. I, I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, I'm not an electrician by any, any means, but I think that light looks pretty cool. Goodwill palette to kitchen upgrade. Looks good. Handcuffs. Are they real? Uh -oh. No. It's a Jaguar thing, but it has a lock on it. Does it feel like anything inside? No. No, it's just, um, it looks like a good suit. Yeah, it's something. a suit bag. But it's the ugliest friggin' suit bag I've ever seen. Uh, truck. 
Okay, handcuffs, garbage. This thing, garbage. Oh, those are cool Christmas shoes. I'm gonna keep these. You know, just put the whole bag over in the yard sale pile. I think that would be a cool thing to sell there. Those are cracked. That's just. Tablet keyboard. Tablet keyboard. It is in here. Logitech. Huh. Yeah. Stick it over in the in that box over there. Yard sale. This is cool. Stained glass window pane. I'm surprised it's not shattered. Yeah. That might be good for eBay. Stuff that doesn't sell. What do you mean? On eBay? Yeah. I mean, most things sell eventually. It just depends on what it is. It's like, I don't know. I mean, none of this stuff is even listed yet. Once it's yeah. listed, I put it in those bins back there and it just kind of sits there until it sells. Some things t sell in, yeah, I've sold stuff instantly, like it'll list and then immediately sell, and some things take six months to sell. Uh, just put it in the truck. I'm done in it. Wait. Tech. Tech. I think this is a a Toomey. I'm pretty sure that's a Toomey knock. Not a knockoff, but a... Yeah. Freaking Toomey. Oh, yeah, man. This is a good find. Almost donated it. This is probably worth 120 bucks or so. Okay, really, really good find there. Math time tests. It's got stains on it. Uh, let's, Pages ripped out. Let's see how many. Yeah. I'll donate it. Maybe some kid will use it. Man, that was a good find on the Toomey bag. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe a yard sale. Oops. Beyonce perfume. Huh. Is it sealed and not broken? It's not broken. Yet. Yeah. Wait till Anderson opens it. Yeah. Let's see. There should be a barcode on the box. Does it smell like Beyonce? Oh, the cap's broken on this one, I think. Yeah. Looks like these sell for... There's six listed. None sold. Let's donate that. I don't think it'll be worth it. The cap's broken on one of them anyway. Okay. <sighs> really need to get down in here. There's another VCR down there. That's sick. VCRs actually sell for really good money. Sanyo. Larger detergent. Uh, donate. Scoreboard. Um, just you throw that directly in the truck. It's missing a piece. What was this? Panasonic portable CD player. I'm gonna keep that. What is that? A Cousinart coffee maker. Uh, yeah, just put it over there. I'll clean it up and see if it works, and we'll go from there. All right, so these are missing a piece, so those are trash. I need to look at here. Scrub. Oh, oh those things. Just throw that in the yard sale pile. And the little things that come with them. Three RC helicopters. Uh, I'll just toss those. We don't have the controller for it. Oh, there is? 
Possibly. Okay, you can donate it. Balloons and rubber bands. And a headphone thing. Listen up. Military Bible stick. Huh. I'll keep that. Uh, the, I actually want to keep the rubber bands that they're in there. I use them all the time. Come on. Okay, let's just. This is the shark rocket. Nothing in there, dirty, no tubes. It's the uh, craziest thing you've found in, in like one of these. Well, I've only been buying them since last week. I got like Goodwill just started doing this. Usually I just buy stuff individually. Um, but I mean, like I said, I paid $40 for this whole box and just that Tumi bag we found is worth like 120. So plus everything else, we'll sell at the yard sale this weekend. And it's just fun going through this stuff. Yeah. Battery charger? Um, probably, probably. It doesn't like the cord to plug it in or anything, but. Uh, it'll still probably sell. Just put it over there in the yard sale pile. Oh, there's a whole set of blinds in there. Oh, yeah. A baby carrier? Baby carrier. For a baby? It's got some stains on it. Let's throw it in the truck. I don't know where I keep that. Granite samples. There's that shark thing. My favorite thing. Um, I'll yard sell those. Somebody might want them for some stupid reason. I don't know. Yard sale. What is this mystery item of the day? Oh, sick drumsticks. Hard Rock Cafe drumsticks. That's awesome. Brand new sealed in the package. Might eBay this. It's a cool table. So I might want that at the yard sale. Uh, yeah, yard sale. Let's get some of this stuff over here. Oops, come back. Um, that's actually really ugly. I'm just gonna um, truck it. Right. Sam's Club hot bag. I might want that. Oops. Shoney's bear. Donate. When I looked up your Thank channel you. and I saw 31.3 thousand subscribers, yeah. I was a little surprised. Yeah, I told my wife, I was like, this kid probably thinks I'm just some old fart that like, you know, messes around on YouTube. Yeah, I've been, been very lucky. That's a cool umbrella. I'll yard sell that. What was that? I love it. Yard sale. It is. Whew. Graph paper, graph paper, binders. Uh, you just donate it. Let's put it in one of those boxes. Oh gosh, come on. Come on, bag. Don't fall apart on me. If not, that's fine, but... I think I could be. It might be later in the night, or I'm like 80. Mm -hmm. But I think I should be. Okay. So I'm four, four Bibles. Bibles do pretty well. I'll look those up. This will be good for eBay. Shoes. It's the last bag. 
Oh Ooh. my gosh. What if that was worth a thousand dollars? Those look Super brand new. Does the trick. Uh, another Bible. Wait. Yeah. It's cool. Bible. Yeah, just stick it over there. Donate those. Interesting flag. And, uh, what's this? Is uh something? Is it like a volt checker or amp checker? Nerve stimulator. Yeah. A Rehab Rehabilicare SMP Plus nerve. Oh, you have to have the little pads and you stick the prongs in yeah. there. And it that might be worth something. What is this last thing? And get to it. Oh, a wallet. Army, army wallet. The Sharpie yard sale. Somebody might want that. 50 cents. 50 cents is better than nothing. Sub so palette was decent. We got this stuff for eBay, not, not including this picture. That's. Let's try to make it. This stuff for eBay the Toomey bag, the drumsticks, maybe this VCR, these Bibles, maybe the stained glass thing. And then. I need to look at everything. Oops, sorry, sorry, I'm trying to be gentle. Then this Sony VCR, and then this Trivial Pursuit uh, sealed in the package game. I think, I think it's sealed in the package. Well, it's not sealed, but yeah, everything's sealed. Cool, so let me look up comps on this stuff real fast. Okay, so this thing sells for like 12 bucks free shipping on eBay, so that's not worth it. So I'll put that in the yard sale pile, maybe get five bucks for it. Um, let's look up this one, the Sanyo VCR next. All right, so this one is the Sanyo VWM 900, and it looks like sold comps on this. That's $74.99 free shipping, $56.99 plus shipping, $42.95 plus shipping. So definitely an eBay item. I think there's 25 listed and 76 sold. Uh, you guys probably can't see this. So I'll put it on the screen. 25 listed, 76 sold. And I think we can get about 50 bucks plus shipping for this. Um, if we could find the remote, maybe a little bit more, but I don't think the remote's here. So say 50 bucks plus shipping. This Sony VCR is also a good one. There's 25 listed currently and 72 solds. Uh, sold 65 free shipping, 65 plus shipping, 124.99 free shipping, 98.99 plus shipping. So definitely a good find from the pallet there. This should fetch, you know, probably 80, 80 bucks plus shipping, maybe 90 plus shipping. Next up is this Tumi T Tech bag. If you don't know, like a lot of resellers know the Tumi logo right there, but they don't know the Tumi T Tech logo. So definitely be on the lookout for this. It's like a briefcase suit bag or something. Excellent condition. It's even got the little, um, where's the little name tag thingy still on it. Uh, so I think we can get about 120 bucks for this plus shipping definitely the best find out of that palette then looking at this stained glass thing it looks really pretty but i don't think it's glass it feels kind of like a a plasticky material um which is probably why it didn't break in the bag so i'm actually going to just put that in the yard sale pile with everything else and uh just sell these bibles this will be the last thing that i put on ebay so not a lot of ebay stuff from this palette but enough to make a serious profit for sure between the two vcrs and all that stuff and then plus whatever we make from selling all this at the yard sale this will be donated to a thrift store that's going to be garbage and my truck has some garbage and thrift store items in it too all right so that is a total of five pallets down and we have one more to go i think today's pallet was definitely better than yesterday's but not quite as good as the first one so i'm hoping this last pallet for the next video has some really really good stuff in it thank you guys so much for watching this video today i really appreciate your time tremendously if you haven't yet consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this you guys are the best and i'll catch you on the next one